Welcome back to season two of Mr. Milo's Physics Classroom, uh, pandemic edition. So today, we are gonna go through some unit conversions again, similar to last year. Um, we're gonna look at the metric system, prefixes, and how to move the decimal around so we can convert between those metric units. So as we discussed in class, there are three standard units, the meter, the liter, and the gram. So everything we do when we convert comes off of these units. If I get smaller, I go deci, centi, and then milli. And if I get larger, I go deca, hecta, and finally kilo. And so if you remember from us talking, uh, when I go up, decameter is 10 meters, a hectometer is 100 meters, and a kilometer, 1,000 meters. That also works for liter and gram. So 10 liters, 100 liters, 1,000 liters. 10 grams, 100 grams, 1,000 grams. Going the other way, deci is 0.1, so a decimeter is 0.1 meters, a centimeter is 0 0.01, or a hundredth of a meter, and a millimeter is a thousandth or 0 0.001 meters. Same with the liter and the gram, it works the same both ways. So what we want to look at is we're going to try and convert some of these from one to the other. And I'm going to show you a little trick to make it nice and easy. So if I have 200 centimeters and I want to go to, well, let's say millimeter. Let's make it nice and easy to start. I look at how many spaces I jump. In this case, it's only one space. And I look at the direction that I jumped. It's one space to the right. If I move one space to the right, I move my decimal spot, which would be right here, one place to the right, so 200 decimal, one spot to the right. Wherever I have a dip, I put in a zero, decimals at the end, and I end up with 2,000 millimeters. So 200 centimeters is the same as 2,000 millimeters. If I want to work the other way, let's start with those 200 centimeters again, we'll get rid of this. And I want to work the other way to deci. Now a decimeter is larger than a centimeter. So I'm moving one space. This time I'm moving to the left though. And so when I move to the left, my decimal also moves to the left. And I get 20 decimeters. So whatever direction I move, I count the number of spaces I move. And I move the decimal in the same direction that number of spaces. So let's try and go further than one spot. If I start with something like 450 grams, and I want to go all the way to kilogram, I start at the standard unit, and I go one, two, three places to the left. So when I move that decimal point, which again is right at the end, I need to go three places to the left. So start with what I had, 450, and I move it one, two, three places to the left, and I have 0 0.450 kilograms. So 450 grams is 0 0.450 kilograms. Same thing if I want to go the other way. If I start with the same 450 grams, and I go all the way to milli, that's three places to the right, so let's take my 450 decimal point, and we go one, two, three places to the right. Remember, anywhere there's a dip, you put a zero in. So I have 450,000 milligrams. Now what should you notice here? One, direction that you move along the continuum is also the direction you move the decimal. The other thing you should notice is that you start to get an idea of how big certain things are. 
a kilogram is the biggest one we'll deal with, or a kilometer, or a kiloliter, they're bigger. And as I go this way, it takes more to have the equivalent number because these are smaller. So as we go through this, it's important to keep in mind all of the prefixes, the order they go in, and whether you're going right or left along the line so you can figure out where to move the decimals. We'll continue more next time. Thank you for watching episode one, season two, Mr. Wireless Physics Classroom, the pandemic year.